Hi YouTubers, Dave out in Western PA USA. If um, you look up some of my prior YouTube videos I've uploaded on uh, emeraldine, that's uh, para, a paraaniline uh, semiconducting dye. And uh, if you look at my preps on how to make the polyaniline, uh, that'll get you started. What I'm doing here is an update. Um, I have a, instead of using the hydrochloride salt or hydrosulfate salt, if I use the paramethyl uh, phenyl sulfonic acid, paratoluene sulfonic acid, and I use that as the acid form, I can get the emeraldine uh, salt soluble in DMF solvent, dimethylformamide, enough that I can apply it with brush. And what I've done here, I've put a light coating on rectangular graphite both sides, but while I was at it, I took some of the uh, pasty solution and with brush applied it to cardboard, rectangular cardboard. I have one side done and I dry it with a hair dryer in the lab. Um, as I apply it, then I give it the hair gun treatment and to evaporate the solvent and I put in about five or six coats on the surface of the cardboard I will apply it to both sides again tomorrow so uh, uh, the other side and then I'll put a strip of aluminum on there as current collector and I will place this cardboard electrode with the organic uh, semiconductor it conducts ions and electrons so I'll put a strip of aluminum on the top and put it into a solution of magnesium sulfate and water. And I'll use uh, as the counter electrode a piece of steel. So I'll let you know how this works. And uh, as I said, refer to my other videos to get an idea of what I'm talking about here. And uh, I'm quite interested in see if I can run an LED for 20, 30 minutes with this. And uh, the key here is to try to get a, a form of the polyaniline that is actually soluble in a solvent like dimethylformamide, DMF, in order to uh, apply it to the surface. Later on, I'll work more on this, make a very dilute solution, and maybe apply it with an airbrush. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, in the green form, maybe you can see this. So it's actually, it looks black, but it's actually green. That's the uh, the ionic form, and in the neutral form, it's uh, no longer a conductor; it's an insulator. So uh, I'm quite interested in organic batteries. So in about a week, I'll up upload uh, uh, current conditions with this work. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.